Tonight, the investigation continues in the death of former FSU student Ryan Yuri. How he died is still a mystery. Tonight, we've learned an autopsy is complete, and the results are expected to come out in the near future. Now, Ryan Yuri was missing for nearly two weeks before his body was found inside an empty building on College Avenue downtown. Ryan's father, Michael Yuri, says that right up until the end, he still believed that his son would make his way home. Now, uh, Tallahassee police say they don't suspect foul play, but how Ryan Urey might have died is still unclear. F funeral arrangements are still pending. The case has sparked a nationwide discussion. People on Facebook and Twitter are wondering about Ryan Urey and how did he die. Well, joining us here in the studio right now is Dr. Warren Allen. He is a professor uh, as well as with the School of Library and Information Studies uh, here at Florida State. And Dr. Allen, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. And the question is, social media, uh, there have been other students that have been missing before, and of course our thoughts and prayers go out to Ryan Yuri's family, but why is this case drawing so much uh, attention? Well, I think case after case, social media is more and more popular, so I think this trend will continue. More and more people get information, more and more people get news from social media. And then there's so much intrigue about this case, and there's so much mystery about it that people just naturally discuss it. Do you think the reason that it's become a trending topic in certain circles on Twitter, and again, people are talking about it on Facebook just after he went missing, 5,000 likes on that page almost instantly, do you yeah. think it's because now we have more access to information? I think it's absolutely true. And you think about the folks who start these pages, there's already a built in sort of community there at FSU and with his fraternity to brothers. And so that sort of speeds up the process of getting that information out. And you see that, you know, in things like seeing how many Facebook likes there already are. I'm looking at a post from one of his brothers night right now Rest in Paradise, Ryan Yuri, you were my best friend and brother. Uh, that's literally, there are literally hundreds of people who are missing a chunk in their hearts because of their loss. I'm wondering if now, you know, seeing messages like this across these platforms are usually we had to write a letter or yeah. be in front of people yeah. does it mean that our friendship reach is a lot longer as well these days? absolutely you know that's in my opinion I mean that's one of the strengths of social media is that people who aren't necessarily close to us on a day-to-day -day level we have a lot more access to interact with them and so messages like these reach more people that are on those out the outskirts of our social lives uh, I, obviously, some pundits are saying that uh, technology takes people away from that interaction. And it's funny, I went to talk oh, to some sure, kids the yeah. other day at school, and I mentioned the, the term card catalog, and they were like, what's that? You know, they just glazed over. Sure. But when we talk about this case, does technology take us away from that personal interaction and keep us from uh, creating closer bonds with relationships? I, I don't believe so. And, you know, this, this, this area, especially social media and technology in general, it's changing so fast, and there's so much diversity around how people use these technologies, it's hard to say across the board that it's bringing us closer or it's pushing us apart. Okay, Dr. Allen, thank you so much for joining us My and pleasure. giving us those details. Again, uh, Dr. Warren Allen, he is with the School of Library and Information Studies uh, with Florida State University. And again, he's doing research and examining the role of the internet and social media. Right now, authorities still continue to look into the investigation to find out what happened to Ryan Urey. We are waiting those autopsy results.